the midnight visitor. In a quaint suburban town of Riverdale, nestled under the watchful gaze of ancient oak trees, there lived a young woman named Emma. She had always been intrigued by the mysteries of the human mind, and her fascination led her to study psychology in college. However, little did she know that she would soon experience a chilling phenomenon that would test the limits of her understanding. One fateful summer night, Emma retired to her room after a long day of studying and fell into a deep slumber. As the clock struck midnight, an eerie stillness settled over the house. Unbeknownst to Emma, this night would be like no other. Suddenly, she felt an unsettling presence in the room, a strange weight pressing down on her chest. Her eyes flickered open, but she couldn't move a muscle. Panic washed over her as she realized she was trapped within her own body, completely paralyzed. The room was dimly lit by the moon's pale glow, casting sinister shadows across the walls. Emma's heart pounded in her ears as she struggled to break free from the invisible restraints. In her state of terror, she caught a glimpse of a dark figure lurking in the corner of her room. Its outline was vaguely human, but its presence felt malevolent, like an ancient force that defied explanation. As the figure crept closer, Emma felt an overwhelming sense of dread, as if darkness itself had taken form and was encroaching upon her. She desperately tried to scream, but her voice was silenced and her body remained imprisoned in sleep paralysis. The room seemed to warp and twist around her, morphing into an otherworldly realm of nightmarish proportions. Whispers echoed in her mind, faint but unmistakable, like ancient incantations from a long-lost language. The malevolent figure drew nearer and Emma could sense its malevolent intent, like a predator closing in on its prey. With every ounce of strength, Emma fought against the invisible shackles. She summoned the courage to confront the sinister entity that held her captive in this waking nightmare. As she mustered her will, a burst of blinding light radiated from within her, illuminating the darkness and banishing the malevolent figure. Suddenly, she jolted awake, gasping for breath, and her room returned to its familiar surroundings. The weight on her chest lifted and her body was no longer paralyzed. Her heart still pounded with the intensity of the experience, unsure if it was real or just a product of her imagination. Days turned into nights, and the sleep paralysis episodes continued to haunt Emma relentlessly. The line between her waking hours and her night terrors began to blur. In search of answers, she delved into the history of her house and the land it stood upon. To her astonishment, Emma discovered that the house had a dark past. Decades ago, it had been the site of a series of unexplained deaths and disappearances. Legend had it that an ancient curse had been placed on the land, a curse that preyed upon the minds of its inhabitants during their most vulnerable state, sleep. Driven by a determination to break free from this spectral torment, Emma sought the help of a local historian who had extensive knowledge of the town's dark history. Together, they uncovered an old journal that belonged to a former resident, who had experienced eerily similar sleep paralysis episodes. The journal recounted tales of a malevolent entity that plagued the town for generations, feeding on the fear and despair of its victims. The entity was known as the Midnight Visitor, an ancient spirit that had been disturbed from its slumber, seeking vengeance on the living for disturbing its eternal rest. Armed with this newfound knowledge, Emma embarked on a quest to confront the Midnight Visitor once and for all. She sought the guidance of a spiritual medium, hoping to find a way to communicate with the restless spirit and lay it to rest. On a moonlit night surrounded by candles and incense, Emma and the medium performed a solemn ritual to summon the midnight visitor. The air crackled with energy, and an ominous presence filled the room. With a trembling voice, Emma addressed the entity, acknowledging its pain and offering solace for the torment it endured. As she spoke, the room grew colder, and the shadows danced in eerie patterns around them. The medium's eyes widened in awe as she sensed the ancient spirit's response, an overwhelming surge of emotions, a mix of anger, sorrow, and a glimmer of hope for redemption. With tears streaming down her cheeks, Emma vowed to help the midnight visitor find peace, to release it from the shackles of its vengeful existence. Slowly, the malevolent presence began to dissipate, and a sense of tranquility filled the room. From that night on, the sleep paralysis episode ceased for Emma. 
the midnight visitor, once a malevolent force, had found solace in her compassion. Emma's courage and empathy had broken the cycle of terror that had haunted Riverdale for generations. Her experience with sleep paralysis had taught her that the human mind is a mysterious realm, intertwined with forces beyond comprehension. The line between reality and the supernatural was a fine one, and sometimes, confronting the unknown required embracing both the darkness and the light within oneself. As the years passed, Emma continued her study of psychology, now with a newfound appreciation for the unseen forces that lurked in the shadows of the mind. Her journey had taught her that sometimes facing the darkest corners of one's soul could lead to profound revelations, bringing peace to both the living and the restless spirits that wander the veil between worlds. And so the legend of the Midnight Visitor faded into obscurity, a chilling reminder of the power of empathy and the eternal struggle between darkness and redemption.